What's going on guys? Welcome back to NBA 2K My League. And uh, this time, man, just because of y'all requests, we're going to be rebuilding my favorite team, as many of y'all know, the Miami Heat. Now, this time is going to be very interesting because you guys all know about Dwayne Wade leaving and going to the Chicago Bulls. So this is going to be the first time, at least I get to see what the future of the Miami Heat next season is going to look like without, you know, the best player coming out of our franchise, the best player in our, that has ever played for us. I'm definitely going to be trying to make the best moves that's going to give them the best players and give them the best future moving forward. So let's go ahead and select the Miami Heat, man. It's going to be really interesting. So hope you guys do enjoy this, man. Go, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, let's get it, man. Let's get Miami. So we're going to auto-generate the rookies. We're only going through this next season. So there's no need to look forward to the draft. We're looking specifically to this season. So that's just the best thing to do, man. We're trying to build guys around Bosch and Whiteside. Obviously, Bosch is... Uh, He's in real life. He said he's healthy and he should be ready for next season. But obviously, in the game, he's good and ready to go. So we're gonna be building around Bosch, Whiteside, and Justice Winslow and Dragic too. But if we get a better player for him, we will certainly do that. All right. So we got Dragic starting off at the point guard, Richardson at the two. I think this is very smart, especially since, I mean, come on, like the guy played phenomenal in the playoffs. And then there's Josh McRoberts, who I don't like because we could have really, we could have left him, we could have sent him to another team, him in like a second or first round pick, and gave Wade the money that was needed to, that would have been a bigger contract than the, the ones the Bulls gave him. So I'm pretty mad about that. Not a big fan of Josh McRoberts right now. So we'll just have to see what we could do with them moving forward. And of course, Judon's has him, our veteran. He will be coming off the bench, helping with some firepower. So that should be interesting. So, yeah, this is pretty much the team. So, Stoudemire and Gerald Green. We're going to have to trade y'all, man. Unfortunately, you guys aren't with the Heat starting of the 2016-2017 season. So, I got to let y'all go. So, hopefully, we get some young guys, some guys that can come in and contribute and play right away. Maybe even some veterans. So, that's what I'm looking for, man. We could get J.R. Smith and Doug McDermott. If I do this, he's got a one-year contract. If I do this... He could start in front of Richardson as a veteran player. And I could have Doug McDermott coming off the bench. And I could move Tyler Johnson towards the point guard position. And that would actually leave me with a solid start lineup. I could get Richardson and uh, Tyler Johnson to be like the guys off the bench and get solid minutes and contribute. What's the name? McRoberts. I want to see if I get rid of McRoberts. Uh, maybe get him for a backup big. We need a backup big for sure. Costa Kufis. Um, to come in, come off the bench, uh, take Haslam's minutes, and then we get a veteran guy in Karan Butler. So now that we have Costa Kufis, uh, we're gonna have we're gonna have to take away Haslam's minutes, man. Um, go ahead, have him at as a veteran guy that's just gonna coach, basically on the bench. Karan Butler, um, I like him a lot. Don't know if I want to commit too many minutes to him. He's kind of he's not the same guy he was. But uh, I will go ahead and give him a couple, couple minutes just so that way he contributes a little bit. There you go. All right, so we beat the Hornets, lose to the Cavs, lose to the Rockets, lose to the Hawks, beat the Pacers and the Wolves. That's a good look. Lose to Toronto, Lakers. How do we lose to the Lakers, bro? Really? And the Jazz? Come on, y'all. We're 3-6 and six right now. Not looking too good. 3-7. and seven. Gotta beat the, We better beat Philly. Oh, my gosh. We just lost to Philly and the Knicks. Golly. We're going to have to make some changes. And that goes the first month. We're six and nine. Um, I'm obviously gonna have to see what's wrong and make the changes from there. All right, so now we're gonna sim the whole month of December. Okay, we get a win against the Celtics. Lose to the uh, Thunder. We beat the Cavs, that's a good sign. And we beat the Wizards. That's a good sign right there, I like that. That means we're beating guys that are better than us, pretty much. All right, we lose to the Hornets, and oh my gosh, come on, we gotta climb back to 500, y'all. There you go. <laughs> and now Whiteside, first Bosch gets entered with a twisted knee. I mean, twisted ankle. Now Whiteside's hurt with a twisted knee, man. Injuries, um, I mean, they're part of the game. You really can't dodge them. They're gonna happen regardless. We're gonna have CPU build it. Leave rotation as it is. We lose to the freaking Nets, bro. Like, we should not be losing to bad teams. And we scored 67 points against the Blazers, bro. Come on. 
Come on, Miami. Don't let me down, man. Um, my friend answer is obviously going to go down. We just lost a Hall of Famer. But, man. And then we lose to the Magic. Can we climb back to 500, man? Can we do that? Can we beat Memphis and be one game away from 500? We're ninth in the conference right now. Gosh. All right, man. So we're done with the month of December. Uh, let's see what it's looking like as far as all-star votes and everything like that. It's halfway through the season, so it's probably the best time to look at that. So all-star voting, Russell Westbrook is first, averaging 23, 8, and 10. Harden second, Curry third. Wow, Stephen Curry got traded to the Utah Jazz? What? Would have never... I guess they must have broken up the whole Thunder squad. Because look, Clay Thompson is with the Timberwolves. Wow, this is actually crazy. And let's see what their... Hold on, let's see what this is looking like. Kevin Durant is with the Suns. They broke up the whole Warriors squad. Wow. Uh, I don't know what happened. I don't know what could have happened. But that is crazy. That is something I would have never seen coming. Even in even in 2K, man. Even in 2K. I know they come up with some crazy trades. But I would have never seen that one coming. Blake Griffin second in voting. DeMarcus Cousins third. Kawhi Leonard. Okay, that's pretty much it. And then Anthony Davis to five. In the East, John Wall and Dwayne Wade are first uh, and second in the all-star voting. DeMar DeRozan and Kyrie. Kyrie got traded to the Raptors? What the hell is going on? I don't know what happened, but Kyrie and the Kyrie and Kyle Lowry are on the same team. Two point guards. How, how is that supposed to work? LeBron is with the Celtics? Bruh. Oh, hell no, nah, man. What the? This is crazy to me, man. I, I don't know what went on in here, but this is, is kind of nuts. If we can make it bottom a bottom four of the playoffs, man, if we can get five through eight, I'd be pretty happy. I'd be pretty freaking happy. I just want to make the playoffs, man, at the end of the day. But, I mean, we're two games uh, under 500, and we're only ninth in the conference. That's the Eastern Conference for you. Um, I guess we don't have to worry about the Warriors blowing us out because they lost Kevin Durant, Klay Thompson, and Curry. So I'm guessing they're going to build around Draymond? I don't know. I don't know. That's crazy. So we're going to sim through the All-Star break, and we're going to sim all the way down to about, you know, the beginning of March. I think that's fair. Oh, we got two wins in a row, though. We got three wins in a row. Oh, we got four wins in a row. Ooh, okay. Okay. So far, man, um, somehow we climbed back, and then we went right back down. We're, like, taking two steps forward and then, like, five steps back, which is not helping us. That's leaving us backwards. <laughs> Our chemistry's good. Everybody's getting along. But I really didn't want to dismantle the whole team. I like Bosch and Whiteside together, man. You're not going to get that combination of a shooting power forward and a block... Blocking and defensive center. That's a good combination you don't want to break up. Dragic, obviously, I wanted to keep him because there's not that many point guards you can really trade for him. So, man, we're 26 to 33. We're about to sim to the end of the season. Unless we win all the games the rest of the season, I don't think we're going to make the playoffs, y'all. If we just win 10 games in a row, 10 games in a row, 10 games in a row. 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 8 games in a row. Ah. Ah. 9 games in a row. Stop getting hurt. 9 games in a row. Oh. We need 9 games in a row. We need 8 games in a row. We need 5 games in a row. No, we need like 9 games in a row. We need, we need seven games in a row. Yeah. I don't think we're going to get it, man. I don't think we're going to do it. I don't think we're going to do it, man. We can, I don't think we made the playoffs, man. It went straight to this screen. We're 36-46. Even though a team can't make the playoffs with 36-46 record in the East, it didn't happen, man. Somehow, LeBron ended up with the Celtics. And he won MVP, 23, 8, and 8. Kyle Lowry was sixth man of the year. Like, how? I don't, I don't know, man. I really don't know how. Because he's obviously a starter. He's on the Olympic team. Andy Davis is defensive player of the year. 
Most approved, Jonas Valanciunas, 13 and 12. The Bulls coach, they went 57 and 25. Second in their conference. Wow. Now we're at the fun part, man, the playoffs. Obviously, as you see, with the Heat, we didn't make the playoffs. I still can't believe it. We had a really good roster. But we're going to send the whole playoffs, man. We're not in it, so no need to even, like, even... I don't know what to say, man. We didn't make the playoffs. I'm, I'm mad. Y'all can tell I'm hurt, man. You see that jersey right there, man. You see that jersey. I was rooting for my squad, man. I did everything I could. We're going to have to simulate this, man. Let's see who wins the playoffs. Pacers, second round. Sup? Celtics are definitely going to make it to the finals if they got LeBron. Celtics and Jazz. Wow. And the Jazz win the championship with Curry? Hmm. I don't know. I, I, never, I would never see this happening. Not in a million years. But, I mean, this is where you guys come in, you know. Put your thoughts down in the comment section. Do you think next year the Miami Heat will make the playoffs? Uh, what seed do you, think, do you think they will be? And I don't know how Curry ended up on the Jazz. That's just crazy to me. But, I mean, Curry, you know, had a, probably another fantastic season and played against LeBron again. This time, both of them were in green. You know, the Jazz, they got green and blue. Celtics got green and white and gold or whatever. But definitely an interesting season, man. Um, Did not see it coming. And the MVP is... Seven Curry averaging 27, seven rebounds and four assists. Holy mackerel. Wow. <laughs> Never would have seen this coming, man. But this is it, man. I guess the, according to 2K, Miami's not making the playoffs next year. But I disagree. Really, I disagree wholeheartedly. But I hope you guys did enjoy this episode, man. Down in the comment section below what team you guys want to see next time. And uh, I'll make sure to bring you guys that and some more so i hope you guys did enjoy this episode don't forget to like and subscribe and i'm signing out look i got million dollar skins and billion dollar flows million dollar skins and billion dollar i got million dollar skins and billion dollar flows i put my heart in this world cause that's just all that i know